Okay, it's 1990. Our event entertainment troupe is booked to perform with the Eagles. Not a big fan, except for Hotel California. On a dark, dizzy highway. But I figured doing a party with the Eagles would be cooler than the bar mitzvah cover bands we usually work with. We're going to celebrate and have a good time. Yeah! Ah, then I find out it's not the rock band, the Eagles. We're performing at the Washington Hilton in a fundraiser for the Eagles Club, the biggest donors to the Republican Party. And of course, the guest of honor is former President Ronald Reagan. But isn't the Washington Hilton where the guy got shot? I mean, if Lincoln had ever lived, do you think he would have ever gone back to Ford's Theater? What's wrong with this guy's memory? Oh, right. Oh. Well, he'll probably have Mommy there to help him out. Mommy? I mean, really. Did Nancy ever call him Daddy? Well, maybe when they were butter in the biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, Mommy, you're really baking my potato. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was such a folksy old racist. <laughs> such a homespun homophobe, spreading fear that AIDS might be contracted by casual contact, like shaking hands, <clears throat> maybe shaking hands with his good friend Roy Cohen. <clears throat> oh, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Such a fatherly old fascist, arming terrorists in Central America, and then freedom fighters in Afghanistan who later renamed themselves Al-Qaeda. <laughs> Such a great man. But I digress. So after we drop our costumes uh, in the hotel dressing room, we're told to leave so the bomb-sniffing dogs can come in. Now you can tell they were not the drug-sniffing dogs because they, they were way too alert. <laughs> then I noticed a man in a dark suit <laughs> sitting in the corner watching us. Secret service. Our female dancers were used to changing in front of the men in the troupe because most of the guys were gay and they could give a shit. But this fella sat straight facing out, watching them dress and undress. Kind of like Donald Trump at the Miss Universe concert. <laughs> but with bigger hands. <clears throat> and of course, he wasn't the president. He was protecting the president, making sure the dancers weren't hiding their weapons uh, in their leotards, or maybe in their thongs, or in their costume cases, which is where we did actually keep our secret entertainment weapons, the celebrity big heads. Yep, oh, big heads, where is it? Yeah, right, yeah. but I was told that I could not wear the Reagan big head while Ronnie was still at the party. My guess is that Ronnie might become confused and think that I was him, just with a much larger head. But how could I be him when he was him, he might think. And that might speed up the unfortunate process that was already making him forget why he called his wife Mommy. Didn't he already have a mommy? And wasn't she a Quaker? Who is this woman who keeps telling me what to do? <laughs> Wait, if she's always telling me what to do, she must be my wife. <laughs> I remember that from one of the movies I was in. <laughs> I played a football player who invaded Grenada. <laughs> but why is my head so big? Does AIDS cause hydrocephalia? No, that's Zika. <laughs> Did I catch Zika from Roy Cohn? A Cohn's young and retarded client, Donald Trump? <laughs> Mr. trump a -choff, tear down that wall! <laughs> oh, but Zika's not till the next century. <laughs> Is this a dream or just one of those ridiculous parties with the eagles? <laughs> they living it up in the hotel. Till California. <laughs> what a nice surprise. Bring your alibis. <laughs> Bring my alibis. <laughs> How do you think I beat Iran Contra? <laughs> <laughs>